On a show as physical and as adventurous as The Expanse, of course, there are a ton of stunts. There are stunt men, stunt coordinators, stunt teams, and then the actors, and all of that is the job of Matt Berman, actor, director, and stunt coordinator. Thank you, yes. Um, okay, so how long have you been with The Expanse? Since day one. Since, since day one. Or, or negative day one. <laughs> since, since they had the idea to do it. Okay, um, so I got that right, yes? Every time something physical is going on, someone's throwing something, someone's throwing someone, yeah. You you have to step I'm in around. and make it safe. Yeah. You got it. How do you make dangerous things safe? <laughs> Trying to make it up as I go <laughs> along. Um, it, it depends. 90% of what we do is making it safe. Right, right, right. And, right. and keeping the magic, uh, letting the magic happen without giving away our secrets. Sure. You're not doing us any favors right now. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, the, the how is dependent piece of action to piece of action. It's different all the time. I like to let it all be driven by the story and, and the intention and motivation be driven by the story. But the how is all dependent on what the actual action is. Some of it, I'm, you know, I hate to use the word easy, but it's easy in terms of she just goes from here to there. Right. And some of it is difficult in that there are seven or eight of them and they're doing all doing different things. And the zero G is challenging, there's no question. But, all the different ways to hang people from rigs. Yeah, and, and different positions. And uh, as Shaq has told you, it's, it's, there's a sweet science to it that has evolved over the course of the five years we've been doing it. And, and we've gotten better and better at some stuff and other things we still go, how are we gonna do this? <laughs> and the, the, the easiest, simplest way is usually the most expensive, so we do it a much more difficult oh, way. Oh, really? Sometimes, yeah. Um, I, would the, was, what was one of the things you're most proud of, or maybe perhaps one of the biggest challenges that you overcame on season four? Oh, season four. The, the biggest challenge came at the beginning in season one in the first week, but the season four- <laughs> Wait, wait, tell me what that one <laughs> no, was. No, no. <laughs> Uh, Holden, one of his, I think almost his, almost his introduction is him uh, with, with a lady friend in his room as, as the ship does a turn and burn and they go from zero G to, right. to gravity while, they're, while they were Flagrante busy. Flagrante delicto. Yes. Yeah. So that was the single most challenging wire thing we've ever done. Really? In that it was really a puppeteering job, right? Yeah. But they still dropped from here to the ground and it was still an intense, amazing amount of wire to have two people be like this instead of like this. But uh, season four, we had a, a, a vertical shaft, we call it, which is really a hallway just like this, Okay. where we, we wanted to have people walking up and down as if they were on the floor, but our perspective is, is oh, skewed, right? Wow, so right. camera sees a hallway and people walking down it, but then we reveal that, no, there's people over here as well, and they're standing up too. So mag booting and walking around. So. We had the challenge of five characters standing in one place, thankfully like you and I are right now, yeah, yeah. but a couple others doing this, and it was a lo and, and the camera also on a wire. So oh, man. it was a very, uh, you know, and, but you look at that and go, where's the stunt? And it's like, not really, <laughs> but. <laughs> so it's like deceptively simple perhaps on camera, but a ton of planning. Three or four weeks of stress and pulling your hair out and planning and, and rehearsing and practicing. Just a simple act of walking up a wall to, to do it properly. Uh, is is not easy, but yeah. it sounds like I mean physically it's easy, right? But making it look like zero G and making it look natural and having her smile and you know whatever is, <laughs> is not easy, and it's that's that's where the the art in it is. And uh, we started right after the movie Gravity came out, okay. So we were all blown away in this business, blown yeah. away by what they accomplished and With the fact the that it took them five arms years and all and that those stuff, kind of things. all their methodology. Yeah, so yeah. we didn't have the you know, I don't want to say luxury, but we didn't have that money to yeah. do what, what's, what Sandy does when she goes through the ship. So it was like, give us gravity, but give it to us for $12, right? So it's, <laughs> it's not easy. Um, does it make it easier that you guys have, most of you have been working together since the beginning of the show? That my you have team, a yeah. Language? Yeah, for sure. My team, Shaq and Marco Bianco and, and, and these, these programmable digital winches, we call them. They're, you know, they are, they are making zero G possible on earth, they really are. Digital winches, I, I got to see one of these yesterday. It's like a standalone unit that you have tremendously fine control You put over. your life in its hands. I did, it was amazing. <laughs> yes, uh, we do, we have a very, 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 a lot of, to the millimeter, really. Right, right. Um, I mean, you guys dropped me at a high rate of speed and yeah. I stop an inch above the ground. And that, if uh, we dropped you maybe three or four times faster than we do anything else in the show, because we're always using them for zero G. Right, We right. dropped you, you know, like Tom, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at I think 20 or 22 feet per second, at a percentage of that, yeah. 
uh, normally we're working at five or four feet per second and a percentage of that even. So sometimes we do stuff at five feet per second, but 40% we call it. Right, right. right. And it's funny, like what, what happened with you yesterday is they're like, he's like, give me 80%. And <laughs> I think I said to one of your folks, does he know 80% of what? Like, <laughs> what if it's 80% of 10,000 miles an hour, right? Like, Anyway, um, it was spectacular. It was good. It was really good. You did good. a great job. Um, on this season, uh, the show lands on an alien world. Um, did that present interesting new challenges for you guys, working in the elements, working with that, set, working with those sets? It did. It, that particular location was I had been to before and uh, is difficult and presented many, many challenges, weather and the terrain and all that stuff. But now seeing it visually and seeing what's coming in December, it's, yeah. it's, it's all worth it. Like, really? you know, you want to kill yourself sometimes, but then, <laughs> then you see the magic that's good. I mean, you know, 80% of the magic happens after. Shooting, to me, shooting is easy. Right, And right. we make the movie later. And, and that's where all the amazing work happens. And Illis in its form and, and what it was is it's fantastic. That buzzer is that buzzer means not you my friend, get to work. but it means I got to work. Matt, thank you so much for talking. So much, I really appreciate so it. Happy. Your team Thanks is me. so much fun to work with. I right. can't wait to see the new season. Good. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for coming. Of course.